I hit this one though. What the hell? I'm trying to. I tried, man. You see how I just moved a little bit? I just moved a little bit so he couldn't run the straight line? That's IQ chat. Pull it from there, bro. Why not let it Why not let it fly, bro? Why not let it fly? I couldn't even see you in the screen. Oh, yeah. You and dunk it. Woo! I gotta take that out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Let's get it! Let's get it! All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. I think a lot of us are at our wits end with this game, man. Let me know if you're at your wits end with this game. Between the shadow ban or the shadow nerfs, the, the the little changes that they make, all the stuff that they do that nobody asks for, and then they don't give us any information on it. It, we're just getting I'm, I'm sick and tired of it i'm not even gonna lie to you man like i get that they have to make a game and they have to try to balance it competitively but it feels like balancing even what they had in mind with this it really feels like this was a money grab and all they wanted to do was just throw out something before next gen to get the money and then like like and that would be cool but it's just like bro we don't even know what we're getting next gen if we get anything that even resembles this game that we have right here next gen it's, it's not gonna be good for 2k man and i really hope that live can come and and push them in a direction because this this right here what we got man this 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 ain't it man make sure y'all like this video man just because you know youtube is i don't know if youtube got me shadow banned or what people haven't been getting the notifications i'm subscribed to myself on another account people just don't get the notifications man it's just like it's, it's got me to the point where i really just want to quit youtube because now you do all the work all the good information great videos a lot of editing all this stuff and then what happens like nobody gets to see them it's like it's, it really is it really takes the motivation out of it we're gonna try man we're gonna try to put up a, a, more videos this month we're gonna try to put up like three videos a day see if that helps and if it doesn't then i, I really don't know what we're gonna do man but uh other than that I'll be back after the intro. You make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. So looking at everything that we got, man, like I said, I, 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 I wish I was my normal animated self, but bro, when you get pooped on by YouTube for, for, for 10 plus years, it's just like, it's hard to, to be happy every time when you know that your video ain't gonna hit nothing. It's just, it just, it's, it's irritating, but that ain't what y'all here for, man. We here for the news, man. Like, look, uh, Swante, Swante came through, man, and he says that they, that they nerfed, they nerfed catch and shoot and, and bows. Oh, I guess he said on, shoot, shoot on moves and slow down um, on Moses. Oh, on Moses. Okay. He said they, they, they nerfed catch and shoot on Moses and slowed down 75 speed uh something happened seems like it's harder to shoot with the 75 with the 75 to 80 uh let me see what have y'all noticed and uh let's see maybe they tweet badges i don't know now my boy t mizzle has said that he's noticed that it was significantly more difficult for him to hit his shots with his slashing playmaker now he said he can still hit them but he's not hitting them at the clip that he was hitting them. And he feels like he's gotta be way more precise in order to hit those shots. And I get it because, like I said, you know, I, I have my shooter here, uh, my, what is this guy right here? This guy right here is a, a pure stretch five. And I've noticed the difference in hitting shots too. Now I'm still hitting shots at the same, like around 64 to 65%. But every now and then, I'll notice that I'm missing a shot that I feel like I should have hit. It's like it's, it had good timing, it was dang this centered, and it's just not going in. And I do time it, so they definitely nerfed the stick too. They made some changes to the uh, to the shot stick in the way where it's like, when you pull it straight down, it used to be with the shot stick, you had to pull it to, uh, to get a green, you had to pull it down. And if you pulled it slowly, you had to pull it down into the left a little bit. If you pulled it quickly, you had to pull it down into the right a little bit. Now what they did was they made it so that straight down and straight down, no matter if you pull it fast or slow, which that took some getting used to. 
my muscle memory was gone with that too. One of my people in my you know, on my joint on my um, in my comments was like, "Yo, dude, muscle memory is gone." I knew I wasn't tripping. Yes, it does take a little while to get back used to because they put they they fixed the mechanic and made the mechanic be the way that it should have been in the first place. And that with the with making the the uh, the, the bigger uh, shot meter, it just makes for a little bit different um, different approach with how you have to shoot. But if you're trying to pull this, try to practice pulling it straight down and making your micro adjustments from straight down and you should be fine. But it's just the fact that they changed that and they didn't tell anybody. And then I get on here and I go out to the park and I try to shoot a few times and I didn't even go to my court. And then I go like 0 for 5, like three games in a row because I can't figure this thing out. And then when I finally figure it out, it's back on. But it's just like, bro, they could have just put that in the patch notes. That's all I'm saying. It could have been, it could have been. So I'm saying all that to say this one, Tay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's in the that's that's not in the patch notes that that and this is pre-patch gameplay too but um there's a lot of things that's in the patch notes that this just aren't in there and then uh one person says yeah i noticed i catch uh that catch and shoot is not as effective um i'm i'm getting he hella delay and spikes on shots uh all after the patch too so so that's one thing i'm glad to say glad i'm not one of the only one that noticed a difference between the 75 and 80 uh three-pointer because uh three point cause because i left i left like but i left i felt like i had just gotten used to used to it and then after the patch um it was back to square one and yeah like i said t mizzle said the exact same thing so there's definitely some changes there uh in terms of catch and shoot nba 2k lab did a great video on it man and they're just talking about how catch and shoot um you know what the badge does and uh how effective it is and stuff like that and uh you, you hold on hold on man we gotta we gotta see my we gotta see my greens i don't care what nobody say but um they're just talking about look at that brute dude look 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 ain't it, ain't it great when you can just pass the ball to somebody and you already know what time it is he's like yeah but uh anyway they said that uh catch and shoot they, they did a video on catch and shoot and its effectiveness and how effective it actually is so you should go over there and check that out they're telling you what the sweet spot is and all of that stuff and pretty much if you've got a highly rated three-pointer uh you really don't need it like you really don't even need badges because what's higher than 100 percent right but at the same time um you know if you if you have a lowly rated three-pointer it definitely helps but it mostly seems like a lot of these badges are helping on missed time shots and shots like that so you know it is what it is uh up next man we got the court conqueror disaster it was terrible everybody knows it and uh you know like i just can't even make no no excuses for these guys anymore it just says if they bring back court conqueror into nba 2k21 next gen they gotta make it so that it's matchmaking way less people per lobby uh way less people per lobby we should have uh we shouldn't have to wait 30 minutes for one game it's such a good opportunity to get rep but the wait time the wait time uh completely ruins it and that's right that's what brute was saying i said hey bro how's court conqueror he said how's the event and he was like it's trash like we literally had to we they literally had to wait until people had uh had gone through and won it and then nobody was really trying to do it anymore before they could do it before they could even go in and do it and it's like the blimp the you know it just was terrible man it was just a whole terrible thing like you couldn't get a game you try to get a game you couldn't get one you gotta wait and he was like he's convinced that that this was 2k's attempt like they just want you to waste time it's like there's no way they wanted you to be able to get rep and get the double rep and all of that now ultimately they was able to do some things uh you know and get some and get some good um and get some good games in and all that but if it were just matchmaking i don't think anybody would have a problem with it it would just be fine man but court conqueror was pretty much a disaster just because of the wait time too many people in there and it's like like bro you got to sit there and run around like it was a cute idea in the very first time when they did it but now it's just like it's just a it's just a poop show and uh we got some information also uh from these guys about nba 2k um you know this is everything that we know so far about next gen and uh it just says people keep dming me asking me what nba 2k 21 next gen so here's a list um here's what we know so far only the vc and my team uh stuff transfer we know that female players uh have been leaked we know that uh, completely different my player builder that's why they say you can't you can't uh bring your player over how convenient you but who would want to bring these players over unless you got a shot creating uh play making shot creator i mean really uh neighborhood won't return and uh day one release for next gen so that's pretty much everything that we know 
about it right now. We don't have a whole lot of information, but like who would be surprised? I mean, it's 2K, like they don't give out information uh, freely. They just, they just don't. They just make changes and do what they want to do. And it's just like, we, we're stuck holding the bag, hoping that something is going to come of it, but it, it never really does happen. Like, like we just stuck to play the game that they give us. And I guess that's where we at, man. But like I said, man, to this game, coupled with the game, the state of this game and how bad, how bad it is. Like I said, the only thing that's even keeping me in, in, in engaged in the game is the shot stick. If it weren't for that, I'd probably be, probably be playing anything else but it just feels like like it's just depressing it's borderline depressing right now man but i'm gonna try to keep giving y'all some good content and maybe i can try to grow in this climbing and just keep putting out videos and maybe i hit something but like i said man it's hard to grind when the game is not the greatest and and it's like like the company wants to keep you from playing the game like i don't even understand that but it is what it is We'll figure it out, man. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better later on and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to get this video out to you guys, man. But like I said, I mean, I, I don't mean to be a negative Nancy this morning. But it's just like, bro, when you work so hard for all this time and you see other people get their comeuppance and bro, I ain't even hit 100,000 yet. Like, I can't be the happiest person in the world. It's on the way, though, I guess. But we're going to figure it out, man. Anyway, man, if you're trying to help me get there, like the video. Uh, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And hopefully, you know, we'll strike a nerve somewhere and YouTube will unshadow ban me and all that good stuff and my videos will be seen again. And, you know, but if, if you don't see my videos, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, the little bell, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get back to where we was at, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed. Godspeed. Godspeed.